All right, everyone. Now I'm gonna do my um, my PBS VHS collection. Most of these PBS tapes I have are PBS Kids, but I do have PBS documentary tapes as well. So yeah. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. In which the first 10 tapes I'm about to show in this collection are PBS Kids. And the first two tapes are um, Arthur. And both tapes are here are from Random House. Yeah, unfortunately the box on this is pretty much... Pretty much well beaten up, but that's okay. It was like that when I got it. And I had to tape up the top of this one because the top was just sticking out. No print date, but it's got the Sony logo on the back. That's pretty cool. The 170th day of 2000 and the reels are kind of yellowed as you can see so yeah it's it's pretty much well diseased, but the tape still works I have another tape I have that has yellow reels which we'll get into that momentarily okay that's it for the two Arthur VHS tapes. Now for the only t now for the only um Adventures from the Book of Virtues VHS. And this is my only one I have until until I get more. But I am taking a break from buying some stuff for a while and all that whatnot. So, yeah. This one's from Turner Home Entertainment. Well, the two Arthur tapes I just showed are from Random House. It does have the Reader's Digest logo. Reprint from January 17th, 1998. But still got the 1996 Tape Master. There you go. Oh, oh. I accidentally knocked over two of my Arthur tapes. But I fixed it now. Okay. The next ones are from Warner Brothers. I'm just going to start with this one, which this is my only Magic School Bus VHS I have and the only homemade PBS Kids VHS tape I included in here. The reason I, reason I include this in here is because this show was on PBS. But that was back in 1994. 
when this show premiered. August 6th, 1998. And this tape has the, um, the Rice Krispies commercial at the beginning and at the end. Which, I will show that, I will show that commercial once I do the opening and closing to this tape. Okay. The next three are Sagwa tapes. Yeah, the Top's a little messy, but whatever. July 8th, 2002. May 30th, 2002. I didn't know uh, DH Media Stack used to have this tape, but he got rid of it because cause he's, cause he's not interested in this show anymore, which is kind of sad. So... DH Media, DH Media Shack, if you're watching this video, I respect your opinion on this show. As I know, I do like uh, Sagwa. It's part of my childhood nostalgia. Because it brings me back good luck and brings me back to the memories. February 28th, 2003. So this one was pretty one day after my 2000 VHS of The Wiggles Wiggle Time was printed. Because that tape was printed on February 27th, 2003. But this one, however, is printed on February 28th, 2003. So, interesting, huh? Gosh, I think so. And now... The only two uh, Theodore Tugboat tapes in this collection. And both tapes are from Reprint from April 5th, 2000. But this tape still uses the original Tape Master from 1998 at the beginning. Okay. 
And here's the only other Theodore Tugboat tape I have. July 3rd, 1998, printed a day before Independence Day of that year in 1998. Okay. Now here's my last uh, PBS Kids VHS I have. And it's the only Zabumafu, the only Zabumafu VHS I have. I do hope to get more soon, hopefully. But like I said earlier, I am taking a break from buying some stuff for a while because of house payments. So yeah. March 16th, 2001. Printed one day right before St. Patrick's Day that year in 2001. So, yeah. So, yeah. I do know, um... Mustafa's Media Corner has this tape. But his copy is a slipcover copy. And his copy has a dark sticker label well my copy just has an ink label and it comes in this clamshell a small white clamshell okay so that's it for my pbs kids vhs tapes now we're moving on to the pbs documentary tapes which as you can see i only have three pbs documentary tapes so yeah well, technically, one is a documentary. The other two are um, documentary programs. So, yeah. Not to be off topic, just just, uh, just thought I'd point that out real quick. So, anyway, here we go. I have not given this a watch yet, but I will watch this one sometime tonight. And by the way, these uh, tapes I'm about to show are from Pacific Arts Video. The first three tapes are from Pacific Arts Video anyway. November 5th, 1992. But still got the original 1990 tape master at the beginning. And just like uh, Arthur's Scary Stories, the reels are kind of yellowed on this one. But that's alright. So yeah, the reels are kind of diseased looking, but the tape still works. So yeah. Okay. I can tell this was part of the box set because of the sides, but it only has one tape. And this is my only um, Eyes on the Prize VHS I have. But I hope to get more eventually. But I'm taking a break from buying some stuff for a while due to house payments, like I said before. September 24th, 1992. Former rental from Video Mark Corporation at Richmond, Virginia. So yeah. This is my only PBS tape, PBS VHS I have that is a former rental. 
So this is my, so yeah, this is my only PBS VHS tape I have that is a former rental. Now here's the last one I have for this collection. Again, just like with Eyes on the Prize, this one was also part of a box set as well. Yeah, unfortunately, the PBS Home Video logo is faded on the label, but that's alright. At least it's better than nothing. March 27th, 1993. And there you all go. Thank you all for watching, and bye.